guys, so this is week five and six of the Dr. Morse's uh, Fruit Detox and Cellular Ge Regeneration Program. So I'm taking the weeks five and six herbs, which I will kind of show in the video as I'm talking. So again, not 100% raw, but definitely making progress, especially mentally, because I've realized that this is very mental and very emotional as well. I've been hitting a lot of emotional resistance, as well as a lot of resistance from my mind and my ego, so I'm currently dealing with that, and I feel that I am making a lot of progress mentally with that, so I feel really good. So now I'm able to go two days 100% raw. I'm so proud. And then um, I'll kind of just do like two days in a row 100% raw, and then the third day I'll kind of have like a cheat meal type thing, but I always get back on the wagon and that's the whole point of detoxing is that you never give up and you keep getting back on that wagon and trying to get your diet down because eventually your body will adjust to it, your mentality and your emotions will adjust to it slowly and balance out and you'll be able to go more and more and more and more. Okay, so I'm just working through that right now. Mostly I've just been eating grapes. I eat a lot of grapes. Uh, I drink a lot of lemon juice. I drink lemon juice with my herbs. I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of that Heal All tea. And uh, I've just really been focusing on the grapes because I find that they really get me to filter like crazy. So I'm filtering quite well now. I find that when I do go raw for those two days in a row, I don't actually see the effects of it in my filtration until two days later, which I find strange, but it's kind of like there's a bit of a lag there. So I'll see a lot of filtration two days later after my sort of my little mini raw fast, and there will be a lot of filtration, like super cloudy urine. So I know that my lymphatic system is working, I've got my adrenals and my kidneys um, strengthened enough so that they're able to filter on their own now. But again, when I go off of the raw, I filter a lot less. So it does affect my filtration. I've just noticed, I'm just letting you know. So I've just had major body aches, particularly on my lower body. I, I must, my body just must be trying to get rid of all the acids that are stored within my legs and trying to get rid of them because I just, I have these really bad aches, like just achy, 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 like almost as if I have a fever. And um, so a few times I've had to take the pain tincture for that and it did help a little bit. Also weeks five and six, you start on the upper circulation as well as brain, brain and nerve tinctures. So this starts to stimulate your brain and to try to start to detox your brain, turn everything on in there, get things moving pretty much, you know? And I really actually noticed that um, I had earaches and I had a few headaches from these herbs. So they do work, <laughs> just so you know, they do work and they really are, they're doing something in my head. So I did have to candle my ears because I felt a lot of pressure in my ears. It almost felt like I was getting an ear infection. So I candle my ears, three candles per ear, and I did get out a few chunks of wax. Nasty. And, but after that, the pressure was gone. So I did remove a little bit of lymphatic buildup in my ear canals. And also my sinuses, I've had a lot of mucus coming out, just cold-like symptoms for probably two weeks now. Just at night, I get really stuffed up, and then in the morning, I'm like just stuffed up, full of mucus, getting rid of all that mucus. So the diet and the herbs are working. Like My body is trying to get rid of all of this built-up toxic lymph and mucus, and I'm seeing it in my urine, I'm seeing it out of my face, okay, out of my nose, I'm seeing it out of my ears. Things are going, things are moving, even though I'm not 100% raw. And it's just, it's great, it makes me feel happy. I feel um, a lot more energized. I don't need coffee every day like I used to, you know, back six months ago. Uh, I'm doing really well with the coffee situation. I can go to work now and work without coffee 
amazing. I'm telling you, that's amazing. I, I didn't ever think I could do it, but I could. I must have um, perked up my adrenals enough to handle it. My energy levels are, are just a lot better. They're a lot more balanced. I can handle going raw for two days and not feeling completely wiped out and exhausted, which is what was happening when I first started detoxing. So I know that I'm slowly making progress. Next, I'm gonna be going after my bowels in this next two weeks here, week seven and eight. I'm gonna be adding in the GI broom because I have chronic bowels, like just terrible. I, I'm looking at, when I look at my eye, um, I have pockets, I have a little bit of prolapsis, and it doesn't surprise me because I've been constipated since I was a baby. So I have severe chronic bowels, and that's one of my main goals of this detox is to help to heal that. I'm also gonna still be focusing on my adrenal glands. I'm also extremely compromised in terms of my adrenals, especially the, my, the part of my adrenals that produce neurotransmitters. I have a weak nervous system. I suffer from asthma when I was a kid, which is a nervous system condition. It still flares up. I'm allergic to cats, and when I go near cats, still to this day, I still get asthma attacks. So I know that my adrenals are not healed yet. I still struggle, do struggle with, with low energy levels sometimes. I have very low blood pressure. I just know that my adrenals are something that I need to work through to heal and restore and enhance. So I'm still taking the adrenal glandular 400. I take two capsules every day still. Still trying to perk them up. I'm gonna go through this last bottle and from there I'm just gonna rely on the herbs and the diet to restore my adrenal glands. And um, I still got other things in the works, but right now focusing on adrenals and my GI tract, continuing to detox. I'm gonna try to go for three days in a row of 100% raw. That's my next goal. My ultimate goal is to get to five days in a row because Dr. Morse was saying that when you get to five days, that's when you really notice, you really notice the difference between being raw and not being raw. You, your body can really tell at that point. And so I'm like really excited to experience that, to see what it's like. I haven't actually ever gotten to five days, but I'm headed there, oh yeah, I'm gonna get there. So that's my update for now, guys, and I will tune back in in two weeks. Thank you for watching, bye.